Hey guys, it's been a little while. I'm so pumped to be hanging out with you. I thought tonight I could show you how to make your very own little tiny altar basum, besom, broom, tomato, tomato, <laughs> if you ask me. Either way, it's super cute. It's a great way to cleanse space. And I thought I would share with you how to make your very own going to do things a little bit different with the one I'm going to make tonight than this one. I'm going to use a jack. <laughs> I swear to God, not helping. I'm going to use, he's actually like eating it. Like, there he is. Look at So don't, don't do this type of craft with a cat around as well, guys. Just, just a little advice there. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. Buckle up, as I say, buckle up. <laughs> Anyway, the one I'm going to make is a little bit different in the sense that I'm going to use ribbons this time, potentially even some glittery ribbons, I don't know, and a thicker thicker handle, but this one is one of the first ones I've made, and it was super easy. I got everything from my backyard, so it's super easy to make, and it looks awesome on an altar. It's also great for cleansing space, so you can actually use it in place of sage and go around and cleanse your circle. You could use it to move sage smoke around. You could use it as a wand. So there's all kinds of purposes and uses for these little brooms. So without further ado, let's get started. So what you're gonna need, fairly simple, a stick. I'm using this stick, I found this on the beach. Looks like someone has cut it at one point and there was no bark on it. I left the bark, <laughs> Jack, I left the bark on this one. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to use a stick without bark for the, for the next one. I also kind of like the fun shape and I think that will make kind of a cool little handle once we're done. So you need a stick. You need lots more sticks. So these are just uh, twigs, twigs that I found in my yard. I have a plant. It's a harle harlequin something. Anyways, when it dies, it leaves these great big stalks at the end of the season. So I just kind of, I've cut those when I was pruning the plants this spring and I've saved these and I'm going to use them as my bristles because I like, they kind of have a little bit of character to them and I think that they will work well. So get yourself some little twigs, some little twiggies. You're also going to need either some like twine or string like I used here. This was white string that I dyed with tea. You could use ribbon, you could use thread, really whatever you have that you feel like would work probably will work as long as it will be able to be tied in a knot. I'm going to use this absolutely beautiful, um, it's like a rose gold style ribbon. It came on one of my gifts from my sister and I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to use it to bind my broom. I'm not sure how it's gonna to work, to be honest. I didn't prep this, okay? <laughs> I've been just sitting at my house, Paul's at baseball, doing his thing, and I was like, I miss my YouTube peeps. Like, I need to make a video. What do I have? What do I have in this house that I've been wanting to do a project? And I fell on the besom, the besom so I've, yeah, I haven't pre-made this with these supplies, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but we're gonna roll with it. So anyway, some ribbon. And then anything that you want to like decorate it with. So I've got some kind of sparkly ribbon that I might put on there. Kind of want to go for a summery bright, I don't know, some form of theme maybe. And you need some scissors. That should be it, I hope. <laughs> Jack, you're not helping. So what you want to do is first get your twigs going. I'm just going to move that right out of the way because he is going... And he can play with some of these twigs because I don't need them all. So I can share with them. So if you want to kind of take a look at your stave, that's the phallic, ooh, phallic aspect of the broom. And you kind of just want to give it a little size up, see where you want your bristles to be, how long. Look at this beast. Let's just pause for a second. This is supposed to be my helper. Familiar, you are not. I love them though. Anyway, you want to look and kind of see how long you want them to be, like how big you want your broom to be. So I'm gonna just kind of grab a couple here just to give myself an idea of where 
I want to break these twigs at. So when I look at mine, I'm kind of thinking like, cause I want them to be up fairly far enough that I'll have room to wrap the sticks. So I'm thinking like a quarter up from the bottom, I guess. And then here, I kind of, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe like that length, with some give or take a little longer. So basically what I'm going for here, it's kind of hard to see, isn't it? Like I said, this isn't planned. This is a shitty tutorial, but hopefully you'll get an idea as we go. So I'm gonna kind of go with that kind of length. And once I get all these sticks out of the way, it's gonna be easier for you guys to kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna break, I'm no Martha Stewart. Don't claim to be. I'm just gonna put leftover sticks in here. I'll find a use for them, I'm sure. Oh, if you don't know, Basums, besoms, brooms, like I said, tomato, tomato, they've been, they're usually used for cleansing your circle. So you can go around your circle and kind of sweep away negative energy. You can cleanse your space. You can use it to kind of set, <laughs> he's taking all my sticks. No, you can use it to set the tone for the ritual to kind of signify that things are about to begin. Most people don't use their brooms to physically sweep space, but that does not mean you can't. Like, go for it. If you want to use your, your broom to sweep your space, then do it. But most of the time, they are used for kind of sweeping, sweeping the air and cleansing the area, getting, getting some good vibes going for your ritual. I think I want a couple more sticks. I've got a good handful going on, but I want a couple more. Oh my God, it's been hotter than the devil's dick here. Like, I live in Canada. It shouldn't be hot. It was 32 degrees Celsius, which is like 90 degrees Fahrenheit the other day. I live in Canada. Like, you can't tell me the global warming or whatever isn't happening because it was burning hot this weekend. It was crazy. So I'm getting, I kind of wanted to be a bit bushy. I'm all over the place, guys. I'm all over the place. I want to talk to you. I want to show you this broom situation I've got going on. My cat's chewing glass at this point. It, it's just, it's a hot mess. Stay with me, though. It's, just, it's hot, <laughs> is what I'm saying. It's been so hot. It's been crazy. Oh, look at this one. I love sticks with some character, you know? Like you gotta add a little bit of that in there. Okay, I think I've got a good enough bush. My bush looks good. And actually, speaking of the bush, that's the female aspect of the broom. So the broom is actually both masculine and feminine if you identify gender to your tools. It's a little bit of both, so it's great for like Holidays like Beltane, for example, where you might be celebrating the union of goddess and god, you know? Okay, so here's my sticks. I've just broke them with my hands, got them to a length that I think is going to work, and if it doesn't, I'll just cut. I'll cut some more, so it's not really a big deal. All right, the cool thing, too, with these little brooms is that you can use them, like brooms traditionally... You can put them like under your bed to ward against nightmares and to protect you while you're sleeping. And a little broom like this, you could even maybe tuck under a pillow depending on how small you make it. And you could maybe put it in a child's room to kind of help them if they're suffering from nightmares or yourself if you're suffering from nightmares. So it's kind of handy like that too, where they're kind of little. It's nice like that. You're not putting some giant broom under your bed. <laughs> All right. So you want to get all your little twigs and just kind of place them around your stave or your stick, right? And just space, try to get it. Make sure you've got all of your sticks in your hand, that they're all kind of secure. And just try your best to get them to go all the way around your stick. So you want it to be fairly even across the board. You want your stave or your base to be fairly covered up. And just hold on to it really tight. And then we're gonna start wrapping. So I'm gonna start closer to the top. So here's the top of them. I'm gonna hold it right about here. 
and I'm going to begin wrapping it with ribbon. This is going to hopefully, in theory, <laughs> attach our twigs to our stave. I'm gonna start with tying a knot and then I will cover this knot up with, um, with the rest of the ribbon. So we'll get this knot going here. Don't need it to be, there we go, okay. I'm gonna try to do this so, with one hand, because I'm a maniac. All right, tie it as tight as humanly possible for yourself. You want the sucker to hold these sticks. So, because you're gonna be swinging this broom around, cleansing things, it needs to be able to withstand a little bit of movement. So once you get them tied on, and I like, I like things to be a little bit imperfect. Um, so I'm not worried about mine not being even at the top, but that's definitely something that you can, if you want them all to be even, absolutely go for it. You can also probably get a lot more fancier with your wrapping than I am. You wanna leave a little bit of your string because you're gonna tie back up to that one. So leave a little, little piece out, a little tail. And then just begin to wrap your ribbon as tight as you can. The cool thing about brooms is that they're so, like they're such an iconic witchy symbol. They're such an iconic witchy tool. Traditionally, or the lore of witches flying on brooms comes from a story of women putting brooms between their legs and walking through the fields in hopes of bringing fertility to the land. So they were often used in fertility magic and that kind of created this image of witches riding their brooms and through the night sky. What they were really doing is just bringing some fertility to the gardens. You can also take your broom when you're finished with it and you can place it by your front door. And it is supposed to help you keep away negative spirits, negative people, dark energy, unwanted energy that you, you just don't want. So it's a great little protective decoration. I think that you could slyly sneak a broom into your decor. I'm gonna shut up for a second and talk about this. So once you come back up, tie it in a knot again. You can tie it in a bow, you can, just, I'm just gonna actually knot it and cut mine. Whatever you wanna do here. So just make your way back up. So you wanna wrap down and then wrap back up. And just go, you go as far as you want. It's totally personal preference. As long as it's gonna hold your little sticks together, you're good to go. And then tie it. Boom. And then just whatever you want. I'm gonna cut my ribbon, but you can do whatever you want with yours. So, I know this camera is not the best. It's kind of hard to show you the full thing, but now we have a little, a little altar besom. It's a little bit bigger than I had thought it was going to be <laughs> comparing the two here, but I'm very, very pleased with them. So now I can use this little broom to cleanse space. I can use it to sweep my altar. It's awesome for your altar because it's the perfect size. It's like a little witchy feather duster. And you can just kind of sweep things away, sweep negativity away. <laughs> I do love him, I promise. But you can use it for that. You could put it under your bed. You could put it by your front door. There's so many things you could do with your own little mini altar witches basem or witches broom. Originally, I was going to put some sparkly ribbon on it, but I like it the way it is, so I'm going to leave it like this. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I know it was a little all over the place. I'm just super excited to talk to you guys. I hope that you have an amazing night, and thank you so much for hanging out with me and little Dickie over there as we created a witch's broom. We'll talk soon, and I hope you have an amazing, amazing, amazing day. Bye.